Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So this is water energy, your energy cancer. You could be dealing with another cancer, Pisces, or even a Scorpio with this energy. So this is an, an energy of um, a very divine partner here, someone who is very in control of their emotions, someone who is very emotionally intelligent, sensitive, and very um, compassionate as well. This person, um, they like to take their time with things, um, but they have a lot of love here with this King of Cups and they have a lot to give. Um, this is a very giving energy. This is someone who's also very intuitive. They, um, they can act based on their intuition. They can feel when the time is right to come forward. This is someone who's very much in touch with their higher self and their emotions and their feelings. And I do see this um, showing up as a divine partner here, someone who, who really does have a lot to offer. So um, let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. So the first card we have here is the Ten of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next we have the King of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Eight of Swords, Air Energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so... There is an energy here of there being, it's possible that there may be two people who are interested in you with this King of Swords and this King of Cups energy. One may be more of an emotional, emotionally driven person, someone who's, um, you know, very open with their feelings, who's very sensitive and, um, you know, loving with that more um, watery feminine energy. Whereas this King of Swords energy is more of a masculine energy. This is someone who's very, um, who's very much more of a wordy person. This is someone who's very logical, someone who, you know, may communicate more directly, someone who values a lot of communication. And um, they may be a bit more detached. Um, this person may have a little bit of a, a cold energy. Not that they're cold, but this is someone who's, you know, not very emotional or... Um, they don't need with that side of them. Um, they, 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 they're very um, logical and um, straightforward, direct, um, very communicative and witty as well. This person can be charming with their words as well. Um, with, as with this King of Cups person, I'm seeing a very romantic energy here. This person may be um, romantic, um, a dreamy energy, lots of emotions and lovey. Um, so I do see that there, there's that contrast here, but they're both showing up as king energy. So these people are both, um, you know, ideal partners. They're both um, on that level of king energy. And with the Ten of Wands, this, this is an energy of, um, you know, you may be feeling a little bit um, out of sorts when it comes to the situation. Um, you may not want to, you may not feel ready to engage with either of these partners here. Um, something from your past may still be burdening you. Um, perhaps there is a relationship that you still haven't really um, dealt with and it's um, it still is, is some, it's showing up as baggage here yeah, with this Ten of Wands and it may be slowing you down. You may not feel open to new people here. Um, one person here may be a past person and someone else may be a new person and 
Um, there may still be some attachment to a past person with this Ten of Wands, but it's showing up as um, baggage. So I do see that, you know, this is something that you still haven't dealt with and it's slowing you down. And with the Eight of Swords, it could even be making you feel trapped and um, feeling uh, very much in your head and um, feeling almost incapable, lots of anxiety about this and um, indecisive. So this um, baggage, this situation, this past person or past thing that happened, it's, it's almost um, holding you back is what it's showing up as. And it's keeping you stuck in your head. Um, you know, this is uh, very much mental energy with this Eight of Swords here. So I do see that um, you may still be dealing with um, that baggage of the past and that situation. And I do see it draining, dra being very draining and tiring. But ultimately, I do see that there, there, there are people here for you. There's options here for you. And these are good options. So let's clarify these cards. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a, a divine pair here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. So the, the, there's, this is an energy of um, a divine counterpart. You and this person may be connected um, emotionally. Um, you may even have a, almost like a telepathic connection where you can feel this person and this person can feel you. You guys can communicate in that way. There is a lot of love here and emotion towards each other. And um, this is you also being very nurturing in this connection. This person may view you as this... Um, um, this Queen of Cups energy, there is a lot of love here and it's mutual. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. So we have the Ten of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally we have the High Priestess. This is Pisces or Cancer Energy. So there is that fulfillment here. There is potential for a really a happily ever after here emotional fulfillment and material fulfillment and a long-term connection here there is a lot of love here so i do see you eventually letting go of these doubts whatever is holding you back this baggage if you can let go of that there is potential here for a lot of abundance joy love and fulfillment and i do see you going within with this high priestess and getting the answers from your intuition there is a lot of um, emphasis on you being guided by your intuition and getting out of your head so that you can really hear your heart and your intuition at this time there is a lot of abundance here and joy so i do see a lot of um a lot here for you i hope you have a really good day cancer bye cancer